Hello once again and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris aka okay, the IT guy back with another video. So today I'm going to show you how to make the uh, navigation and by setting the active cross. For example, if I'm uh, on here, when I click on here, it will be active like this one. And I'm going to show you on how to do this because I know uh, for beginners this can be a bit of a headache. I used to struggle with this one that's why I decided to say okay I'm going to make the video and I can show you the simple uh, steps that you can use and uh, for this demonstration I'm going to be using the PHP programming and the techniques are the same for other programming languages and I will show you the advanced version of this by using the Ajax for this case I'm using the pure PHP and the bootstrap and I'm going to show you the how to perform this and before uh, I proceed with the coding you can see that I'm showcasing on how this works for example if I'm on home you can see that I'm on home and I go on the dashboard it will be the active one on the orders to be the active and for the products as well as the customers all right enough of talking so let's jump to the code editor so in this case i'm having these files but to start where i'm going to delete all these files and I'm, we're going to to create the new files so to be able to know what we are doing so and i'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on delete and i will be remaining with this index and this index will be the starting page for example if i go here and uh, try to write like uh, index or I do this to reload the index and the index will be looking like this one so uh, to, to continue with other processes I'm going to go ahead and and uh, rename this index I'm going to call it index.php so I'm going to go ahead and rename and on the extension I'm going to call this as index.php okay so as to be using the PHP as I told you, you can use any programming language that you like and you can use the same approach that we are going to use in here. So, all right, so let's go ahead and see all the for the pages that we have. We have the home page, we have the dashboard, the orders, the products and the customers. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click one by one. For example, I'm going to create dashboard.php. Okay. I'm going to create another one that, that is called, uh, let me just check, uh, orders.php, orders.php, okay, and I'm going to create another one called this customers.php, and I think the last one will be the products.php, okay, and as uh, this will be uh, the page uh, this sidebar will be required each time we call the page we can go ahead and on each page we can go ahead and do like this one php require once and i'm going to require the index because it's the one that is that's containing the sidebar okay like this one okay and we cross okay i can go ahead and copy this to each page because we'll be requiring the sidebar to each of the page in here i'm going to go ahead and do like this one do like this one okay cool okay so on the index i'm going to also allocate those uh, for the hlf for example if i'm on home i will be knowing that it will be the index.php okay yeah uh, when i'm on dashboard of course the file is called dashboard uh, that PHP okay and for the others I can go ahead and say okay others that uh, others that PHP and for the products it will be go to product products okay dot PHP and for the customers it will be the last one I think I call this customer okay and in this case when you come back in here and refresh and you click on dashboard you can see that i'm on the dashboard here now the file is changing because we have the empty pages you can see the difference but when you click on here on the dashboard on the orders you can see that it will be changed on the products you can see that i'm on the product on the customers you can see that i'm on the custom and the next stuff now is to to remove this home uh, the active class from home to each of the these pages that we'll be navigating to for example let me say that i want to make the product as active whenever i come here on the cross and i make this as active and go back and refresh you can see that it will be active 
So we're going to use that approach and we see on how to perform the logic that will make the one active and the other one will be inactive. All right, so let's go straight to the point. So what we are going to implement in here, I'm going to proceed or as I'm going to proceed. So I'm going to go ahead and open PHP again and I'm going to cross the tags in here. So you know what we are going to do we're going to make the file and i'm going to call this directory uri like this one and i'm going to to call this server and i'm going to be putting this server uri okay like this one uri okay and after that i can go ahead and distinguish the path and i'm going to go ahead and okay do like the path will be equal to and i'm going to parse the url okay and i'm going to input that directory uri and after that i'm going to use this uh, super group which is now this php uh, underscore url and i'm going to put path path okay php or path like this one okay after doing that i'm going to go ahead and cross and i'm going to say okay let me make another variable and i'm going to call these components and this will be equal to uh, i'm going to explore the path okay explore and in this case i will say okay loot and i'm going to input the this path okay all right after that i can go ahead and choose because the component this component will return an array I'm, and i'm going to go ahead and set each page as components and i can input the value as to so i will i will show you on how uh, i was trying to distinguish if two or any other number that you can choose according to the element that you want to access from the uh from the array so i'm going to go ahead and try to echo or to var dump each of these line to see what it will be give us so for example if i'm on the directory uri uh, you can see let's try to do this and go on index and refresh and you will see what it will bring us you can see that it is uh, it turning the error so i'm going to see here they are the server server URI. i think i'm I think here we should have been using the request because we can use the request and I'm going to request for the URI. Okay. So guys, so I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Cause that it was able to return this. It was able to return this um, navigation index.php. You can see that it is now the path. Okay and when we try to vary dump again the path to serve and i'm going to go ahead and say okay path okay and i do like this one i said that it was able to return the same thing and when i i, I try to do this on the components so i'm going to cut and i'm going to paste it here and on the components you can see that we will be having an array and the array will contain all this kind of stuff the first it will, it will be this one the navigation and the two the two will be the name of the page that's why i was pointing to the two okay so after that when i try to uh to to do the same for the page we can see that we're having now the page as index.php so for this case we'll be using this file to check if now the uh, the page is the current active page so i'm going to go ahead and remove this and do a bit of formatting to remove these unnecessary uh, spaces as long as we know that our code is learning smoothly we can go ahead and proceed with other processes because um, we were trying to see if what we did is now the legit one so and for this uh, to be able to distinguish between the active class and inactive class we will be uh, referring to the class that will be equal to the list element so uh, when you take a closer look to the list element you will see that there will be uh, let's see with the list element there will be this a uh, nav item and on the on here let's see nav item on the index and there will be the, the nav item where is the active class okay here it's now on the on the ring so you can see that i'm having nav link as active okay for all the anchor tags we will be detecting if it's active or not so to do that i'm going to proceed like this one okay i'm going to go ahead 
and for example i'm going to copy this somewhere okay let's say i'm going to cut this and i'm going to open my notepad and i'm going to save this in here so i'm going to paste it here so as to be able to never roast it and in this case what we're going to do we're going to set the active class according to the pages okay for example let me say i'm going to go ahead and open php and i'm going to say oh, if page i'm going to take the page is equal to index dot php okay after we take that the page is equal to index dot php we can go ahead and open like this one okay and in inside this i'm going to go ahead and echo and i'm going to be calling that uh, that, that here across the attribute that we copied and in this case it will set this as it will echo this as nav link active and whenever it detects that it's not the active one we will also import the errors condition and in here i'm going to go ahead and echo now uh, this as nav link okay and i'm going to go ahead and close this one where is the error okay we didn't cross this in this condition and here too okay still the editor is not happy what's happening uh let's see now okay we need to cross this of course because we were setting href as that one and the cross we're going to cross it here okay i'm going to put this and save let's see where it is now bringing the error um let me check why php okay i didn't cross the php okay cool now we can see that the editor is happy now because it's not displaying any error and the next stuff that you need to check if to, is to check if the code is still learning smoothly i'm going to go ahead and close this because we're saving it saving it for our files so i'm going to refresh and click on the home page you can see that there is nothing changed which means that uh, uh our code is learning cool so i'm going to go ahead and minimize this and i'm going to be copying this and i'm going to implement uh, a bit of logic a simple logic to distinguish between the page so for the dashboard i'm going to go ahead and say okay for the cross i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to check for the dashboard okay so let's test so far to see if it works so whenever i click on dashboard here we go you can see that this is now the active one okay so i'm going to go and do the same for the orders i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to check for the orders.php okay and i'm going to do the same for the products okay in here i'm going to go ahead and check for the product okay products okay and the last three i'm going to check for the customer okay and i'm going to check for the customer okay cool so i'm going to go ahead and refresh after refreshing i'm going to navigate to other pages and here we go now we were able to achieve this kind of stuff and you can go ahead and use this approach there are many many other techniques to do this this is one of the million techniques to do this and i hope it's the easy one for beginners if you want to if you want to get stressed out of your head by doing this you can go ahead and use this video okay guys let me know if you met with any problem or if you met with any error i'm here to help you i will provide the starting code and uh, this code i'm going to provide these codes for free i'm going to check i'm going to put them in the description and you can use them you can use them however you need you can modify anything according to your wish and if you did like the video go ahead and click on thumbs up give this video likes and share it with your colleagues or friends or your teachers it depends on whom you need to show uh, how to do this and if you are coming on the channel for the first time and you kind of liked it go ahead and press on subscribe and from now on till next time i will see you guys in the next one peace up